perpendicular constraint. Uh, we can add a perpendicular constraint uh, when we have a couple lines that need to be perpendicular. Uh, typically, uh, geometric constraints are added automatically, but we can add them as we need them. And uh, there's 12 different constraints, and the first one we're going to play with is perpendicular constraints. So we're going to start a 2D sketch, and I'm going to start a 2D sketch. We're going to pick an XY plane. We're going to draw a line. And let's say we have our first entity is up here. All right. And then we're going to draw, let's say, a second entity somewhere over here. And we'll boom. boom. Now, to do this, we're going to go up to our uh, sketch and into constraints. And in our constraints, we're going to go to our perpendicular constraint. We're going to pick on that button. We're going to pick our first line. We'll come down here and pick on this first line. Then it'll ask us to pick the second line. I'll pick this second line. You'll notice it puts a, a, a constraint, perpendicular constraint uh, marker on there, showing us that these two are perpendicular. So now, no matter where we move them, they'll always have a 90 degree uh, uh, angle in between the two. So perpen perpendicular constraints are found up here in constraints, and they cause the geometry to be at right angles to each other.